Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another reading of the Bible. We are back in Ecclesiastes, and uh, we are going to tr do our best <clears throat> to finish this 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 book. Also, we I finished um, the Psalms earlier today, so um, that video was already seen. I I did the finale in one video, but I I did previous chapters uh, so three videos for that a video for uh, Psalm 135 a video for 136 and 139 uh, part two uh, I had to do 139 in, in two parts and then of course the finale was see uh, uh, was a uh, 140 through 150. And in the Psalms, and all of them got views so far, including uh, Job 19. So we're going to do Ecclesiastes right now. We're going to do two uh, chapters of video. And uh, so it's going to uh, say 6 to 8, 8 to 10. Hmm. Uh, no, I can do three. Let's do three, three chapters. So that will work. So 6 to 9. So Ecclesiastes six, chapter 6, verse 1. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. This is Saul writing. Uh, excuse me, not Saul, uh, Solomon. Solomon writing here. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. A man to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so that... He wanteth nothing for his soul of all that he desireth. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. If a man beget a hundred children, a hundred children, and live many years, so that the days of his years be many, and his soul be not filled with good, and also that he have no burial, I say, that an untimely birth is better than me. For he cometh in, in with vanity, and he departeth in darkness, and his name shall be covered with darkness. Moreover, he hath not seen the sun, nor known anything. This hath more rest than the other. Yea, though he live a thousand years twice told, yet hath he seen no good, do not all go go to one place. All the labor of man is for his mouth, and yet the appetite is not filled. For he for what hath the wise more than the fool? What hath the poor that who knoweth to walk before the living? Better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the of the desire. This is also vanity and vexation of spirit. Uh, vexation, let's review that we've had that word before in other books. Uh, in verse 9, 6, 9. Vexation is what the eyes see, that what the soul goes after grasping for the wind. So grasping for the wind. And the vexation spirit is grasping of the wind, for the wind. That which hath been is already, is named already, verse 10. And it is known that it is man. Neither may he contend with him who is mightier than he. Seeing there be many things that increase vanity, what is man, the better. For who knoweth what is good for man in, in this life? All the days of his vain life which he spendeth as a shadow. For who can tell a man what shall, he, what shall, what shall be after him under the sun? Uh, chapter 7. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the death, day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning, of sorrow, uh, than to go to the house of feasting, for that is, for that is the end of all men. <clears throat> and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is is in the house of mourning or sorrow, 
but the heart of fools is, is, is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for man to hear the song of fools. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. There's also his vanity. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good when in with an inheritance, and be it there and, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun, to them who see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them who have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Consider the work of God, for who can make that straight which which he hath made crooked? In the day of prosperity, be joyful, but in the day of adversity, consider. Excuse me, God also hath set the one over against the other to the end that men should find nothing after. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perishes, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life. Be not righteous over much, neither make that thyself over wise. Why shouldst thou destroy thyself? Be not over over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldest thou die before thy time? It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this, yea, also from this withdraw, withdraw that thine hand, not your excuse me, withdraw not thine hand, for he who feareth God shall come forth of them all. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than the ten mighty men who are who are in the city. For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. It's a famous verse said by Robert Gibson. Also take no heed unto all words that are spoken, lest, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee. For oftentimes also thine own heart knoweth, knoweth that thou thyself likewise hast, hast cursed others. All this have I proved by wisdom. I said, I will be wise, but it was far from me. That which is far off and exceedingly, exceeding, or <clears throat> see me, exceedingly deep, or exceeding deep, who can find it out? I applied mine heart to, to, to know, excuse me, I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. I find more better, more bitter, excuse me, bitter with an eye, bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Who, who, whoso pleaseth God shall escape. Whosoever pleaseth God shall escape from her, the wicked woman, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, this is Solomon, counting one by one to find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh, but, but I find find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that God hath made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Chapter 8. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face to shall be changed. I counsel thee to keep the king's commandment, and that in regard of the oath of God. Be not hasty to go out of his sight. Stand not in an, in an evil thing, for he doth he doeth whatsoever pleaseth him. Where the word of a king is there is power. And he and who may say unto him, What doest thou? Whoso whosoever keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Because of every purpose there is a time and judgment, therefore the misery of man is great among, upon him. 
for he knoweth not that which shall be, for who can tell him when it shall be? There is no man that hateth power over the spirit, to retain the spirit, neither hath he power in the day of death, and there is no discharge in that war. Neither shall wickedness deliver those who are given into it. All this have I seen and applied my heart unto every word that is done under the sun. There is a time wherein one man ruleth over another to his own hurt. So I saw the wicked, wicked buried who had come and gone from the place of the holy, and they were forgotten in the city, forgotten in the city where they had so done. This is also vanity, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the son, sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times in his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them who fear God, who fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he fears not God, fears not before God. Therefore is, therefore is a vanity which is done upon the earth, that w that there be just men, unto whom it happen, unto whom it happeneth according to the work of the wicked. Again, there be wicked men to whom it happeneth according to the work of the righteous. I said that this also is meant. Hold on. I'll stop it. Verse 15. Then I commend him mirth, because a man hath no better thing under the sun than to eat, to drink, to be merry. For that shall abide with him of his labor the days of his life, which God giveth him under the sun. When I apply mine heart to know wisdom and to see the business, business that is done upon the earth, this in, this in parentheses, for also there is that Neither day, <clears throat> neither day nor night so seeth sleep with his eyes. Then I beheld all the work of God, that a man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. Because though a man labor to seek it out, yet he shall not find it. Yea, farther, though a wise man think to know it, yet he shall he not be able to find it. Chapter 9. For all this I consider in my heart even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, to the good and to the clean, to the unclean, to him who sacrifices, to him that sacrifices not. As is the good, so is the sinner. And he who sweareth as he that feareth an oath. There is an evil thing among there is an, an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event uh, unto, unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men are full of evil. A madness is in the heart while they live, and after that they go to the dead. For to him who is joined to all the living there is hope, for a living dog is better than the dead lion. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not any. Neither have they more, any more of a, of a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred, their envy, is now per, per, perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under, under the sun. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, drink thy wine with a merry heart. For God, for God now accepteth thy works. <clears throat> let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou, thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he hath given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity, for that is thy portion in this life, and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun. 
whatsoever thy hand findeth do findeth to do, do it with with thy might, or all thy might. Uh, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither whither thou goest. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, yet nor nor yet favor them of favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to all them. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So are also the sons of men snared in an evil time. Evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city, and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it, building great built bulwarks against it. Now there was a found, now there was found in it a poor wise man, and and he by his wisdom delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of wise men are heard and quiet more than the cry of him who ruleth among among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. But one sinner destroyeth much good. I'll finish the rest later. Part two will be later. See you guys later.